local, by Safeco Insurance, do more, and by the Emerald Queen Casino presenting Grammy Award winner Randy Travis, August 18th. For tickets, go to emeraldqueen.com. Smith Tower on the right till 62, the tallest building on the West Coast. Columbia Tower on the left, currently the tallest building west of Chicago. Welcome back, everybody. Take a look at our windy starting pitchers. It's Jeremy Bunderman against Jared Parker, and Bunderman has really thrown well his last few starts. Well, I think if you look at his last three starts since his opening outing, I think we have to give him a pass on that. But his last three outings, 20 innings pitch, just two earned runs over that, and the big key to it is commanding his fastball. Jeremy has a good fastball. He'll be 93, 94 miles an hour in that area. When he's 91, he has to get tremendous sink on his two-seamer. That will be a big pitch for him today. He is going against Oakland. They're going to be patient against him. They're going to try to make him work and, and find out where his fastball is at. So if he can come out early and control his fastball, keep it on the ground, that's good, good job for him, and he'll be end up having a lot of success in today's uh, ball game. It'll be opposed by 24-year-old Jared Parker, who's 2-2 two two against the Mariners, 2-0 and here in this building. Well, Parker's been a hot pitcher for the A's as of late. He's not overpowering, but in his last five outings, he's 4-0 and with a 2.04 ERA, so he has pitched well, holding opponents to just a 171 average. Again, he will try to sink the ball every now and throw you a high four-seam fastball, pretty good slider, and a great change up for Parker. There you have it. You're all set for Mariner baseball. Glad you're with us this Sunday afternoon. A roof covering us here at Safe Gold Field. Good spirited crowd here. It's the Mariners and the Athletics first pitch is straight ahead. Things that you can take in coming to a ball game here in Seattle. A nice fountain right across from Edgar and Dave here as we take you inside. Safe go field with the roof extended today. Weather not quite up to its recent standards. Nonetheless, Major League Baseball on tap today. It's the Athletics and the Mariners. Welcome everybody to Mariner TV from Safe Go Field here in Seattle. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, right above the A in Safe Go Field. As we get ready for Jeremy Bunderman against Jared Parker, let's take a look at the A's batting order. And for manager Bob Melvin leading off, it'll be Coco Chris, the DH today. Seth Smith hitting second. Then it's Jed Lowry. What a series. Five for seven with a home run, four RBIs. He has swung the bat well against the Mariners here in the first half of the season. Cespedes, he has the power for the A's. He will hit cleanup. Then it's Moss, Donaldson, Reddick, Norris, and Eric Sogard, the second baseman. We had a good night last night. He will hit ninth. 
for Jeremy Bonderman. Four appearances on the year, one and one record, a 3.28 ERA. He has been a hot pitcher as of late. Opponents average is 233 uh, against Bonderman. Good sinking fastball, also a good curveball. That'll be a big pitch for him today. Occasional slider. Well, here we go. The veteran Coco Crisp having a good year is going to lead off. First pitch in there called strike one. Ryan Knight's got home plate. And I have Sony's got first base. Mark Carlson at second and Jerry Davis at third. 63 degrees this afternoon. It's down low. Take a lot of pitches, a foul off a lot of pitches. They will make you work and they will test you in the first couple of innings, Dave. But if you show them that you can throw first pitch strikes and work ahead, they'll they'll start to be more aggressive. But if not, they're going to try to get your pitch count up in a hurry. Easy play for smoke. One out. Oh, routine play for Justin Smoke at first. Take a look at the rest of the T-Mobile defense for the Mariners this afternoon. Saunders at last night off. He is in the outfield today in left field. Gutierrez in center. Andy Chavez is your right fielder. And on the infield, Kyle Seeger at third. Ryan and Franklin playing up the middle. Justin Smoke, your first baseman. Mike Zanino under the weather last night. Didn't get the start, but he will start this afternoon behind the plate. Little League poster day holding up pictures of the Condor out. Enjoying the warmth of the fireplace. Next hitter is Seth Smith, DHing today. Franklin can't get it through the hole, base hit. Solid base hit by Seth Smith. One of the things that Nick Franklin has shown is a lot of range, but can't get to this one as it gets into the outfield. Brings up a tough hombre here. Tough hombre and Jed Lowry. Five for seven in this series with four runs knocked in. He's having a good year for him. Hitting 305. Sacrifice fly and a two run single. Three for three last night. Three runs knocked in. Biggest comeback of the season for the Mariners last night. They went into last night one and 32 trailing after six innings three and 42 after seven. That was a huge win. Well it was an impressive comeback as you mentioned they were down three runs late in the game and the veteran Raul Abanez bails them out with a three run homer to tie the game up and I was really impressed with the at bat that Nick Franklin had to drive in a couple of runs give the Mariners the lead but it was good to see them come back because they really had nothing going for the first six innings Dave. they were struggling offensively to get any kind of pressure on the A's. Until that home run by Abanez. First three innings, Mariners left six men on. And then innings three through six, they were shut out. With that win, the Mariners are now seven and five against the A's, three and two here, four and three in open. And with the loss and the Texas win, they've got the Rangers. And the A's in a virtual tie. We've got two hundredths of a point. Texas on top. Well hit, right field. Indy Chavez running out of room, but he's right there at the fence to make the catch. Well, here we go. This season series, seven and five in favor of the Mariners. Runs, hits, ERA. Pretty close. Very close. Bob Melvin, former Mariners skipper, manager of the year in the American League last season. Here's Joanna Sess for the season left field today. Powerful right hand hitter, went 0 for 4 last night. Hit into a terrific double play to 5 4 3, round the horn effort. Two outs in the ninth last evening. Yeah, 
been quick. Two Cespedes hit the ball hard down to Kyle Seeger. Kyle made it look easy, but that ball actually came up on him a little bit. And a nice backhanded play. Was able to get rid of the ball quickly so that Nick Franklin can turn the double play. You guys made it what looked easy. Uh, it was really a difficult play for them to make, especially with Cespedes running. He runs well, too. Nick Franklin, probably the strongest throw we've seen from any second baseman this, any year. Time this yeah. year. Yeah. Two out of Cespedes. Two on one. First time Bonderman going against Cespedes. You know, Bonderman missed a lot of time with the Tommy John and injury and also that rib removal surgery he went through. Thoracic outlet compression syndrome. Changing of speeds. Two of two. Was able to locate a fastball down and away in the strike zone to get back into the count. And then that last pitch, you can see the curveball almost threw it in the same spot, 81 miles an hour. Getting to swing through it. Jeremy, Jeremy has a good curveball. Yeah. And the confidence has grown in it as, uh, as we've seen him each outing. Here's a 2 2. That one missed. Uh -huh. in his career starting back in 03 with Detroit in the big leagues against Oakland 4 and 3. And eight starts at 3 4 9 ERA. Last pitch looked like the slider. Brandon Moss waiting on that. Little league day here at the ballpark. Good to see all the kids in the parade. Payoff here to Sessman's runner goes. Pitch swung on and missed. He struck him out. But Jeremy Bunderman. Nice first inning here at Safe Gold Field on this Sunday. Mariners coming to bat. Jared Parker out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, same part of the country that has produced Eric Wedge. He'll be starting for the Athletics today. And here's a look at the Mariner batting order that will face young Mr. Parker. And leading off, it'll be Indy Chavez. How about Indy Chavez? 34 hits in the 39 starts, at least one hit in those games. So good leadoff hitter for the Mariners. And it's Nick Franklin in the series, four for nine with a home run and six RBIs. Back-to-back -back gains with three RBIs for Franklin. Then it's Seager. Abanias Gutierrez moves up. He will hit fifth. Had a home run in last night's game hitting sixth, but he will hit fifth this afternoon. Then it's Smoke, Zanino, Saunders, and Ryan rounding out the nine for the Mariners. Take a look at Parker this year. Six and six record for him. A 4.30 ERA. He has pitched much better than that as of late. Opponents average 251. He has given up 13 home runs this year. 35 year old Indy Chavez leading off and certainly not playing like his age says by any stretch. He's been amazing. Again, he's had 39 starts and has had at least one hit and 34 of them. He 
He's also played really good defense for the Mariners, and he's getting to start in right field. Michael Morris going on the disabled list, so Indy will be out in right. And he has a strong throwing arm. That's the reason why he's out there. Saunders had last night up. He's in left this afternoon. And he got a bunt base hit that was critical last evening in the eighth inning. Came around and scored. He got a sacrifice down in Anaheim a few days ago. The little things. Well, that's something I believe it was about a week ago. You and I both <laughs> were bemoaning. About 10 minutes worth. The inability too, of not just the Mariners, but throughout the league, we've oh, seen it. It's been broken. But Indy, two perfect bunts. Flips one in the left field. It'll get down in front of Cespedes for a base hit. Good start for the Mariners and Indy Chavez. This being his 40th start of the year. Now 35 hits at least one hit and 35 of the 40 starts he has had. So starts the game off with a base hit. It's good to see the T Mobile defense for the Athletics today. Cespedes in left field. Coco Chris. They can go get it out of center. Josh Reddick's strong arm in right. Donaldson at third. Lowry and Sogard playing up the middle. Brandon Moss will be the first baseman. And Derek Norris will do the catching again. Here's Nick Franklin. Got the best batting average on the ball club at 295 starting today. What he's done in the series four for nine again six RBIs for Nick it was three for five last night came up with the big base hit to drive in the go ahead run. Eric Wedge talking about Nick Franklin have been excited by his performance this is, and he asked the, the media he says how do you feel when certain guys come to bat. So well. This kid comes to bat, you feel good, don't you? The whole room nodded. So you feel pretty good when he comes to the plate. The other thing, he says, listen, he's going to hit the bricks at some point. He's going to hit a wall, but you know what? I know he's going to come through it with no problem. Yeah, well, he has plenty of confidence, that's for sure, and it shows with the way that he plays. And I was listening to him after the game, and I liked his comment. He was, they were asking him about the situation that he was in late in the game and falling behind the count. It was, and he said a number of things, but the thing that, that struck me for such a young player is he said, I don't worry about the outcome. There you go. Stay in the moment, try to have a good at bat, and I don't worry about the outcome, either whether get a base hit or fail in the situation. I don't concern myself with that. That's that's pretty good. You expect that of Raul Labanez, who had a three run homer, and when Raul speaks to that, you can see why he's an 18 year veteran. But for a young player, that, that's pretty good. Shannon Dreyer covers. Ball club for our radio flagship 710 ESPN said there's one quality you'd like to see your minor leaguers have that Franklin has. He's and which says no fear. Say the same thing I said about Seeger last year. No fear. Two and two. Parker's been on a good run. He's beaten. The Giants, the White Sox twice, and a win at Texas. Got a no decision against the Yankees, so he's on a good run in his last five starts. Two and two. To right field for Reddick. Pre-game. There's his scouting report on Jared Parker. Low 90s fastball. Change ups is rubbed by a pitch. We've seen the Mariners have seen eight lot of change ups in the last month. And the guy stepping in the batter's box right now, Kyle Seeger, has seen his share, so I would assume that Parker will use his change up effectively trying to get Kyle out. Kyle two for seven against Parker. in the middle of it last time when Ronald hit his three run home run Kyle with one out was able to get things started with the base hit and Morales walked after Kyle had the hit and he's 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 something he's always in the middle of it again a double play that he turned also in the ninth inning was helpful to Medina what a job Medina did last night too everybody's talking about Abanez and, and Franklin for good reason but Medina 
ended up getting the save in that one last night. And he, what an effort he put forward. They got the win. Or the win, excuse me, yeah, the win. They got the win. The second. And you're talking about abundance. Raul leads. Home runs and RBIs. There's Davis out of the bullpen with the guys. And he's between Charlie Furbush and Blake Bevin. Seeger leads in games plays at played at bats, runs, hits, total bases, doubles, and tied with, with elite triples. And good point about Medina, because got a little state of flux out of bullpen. Well, there is, and and we saw Oliver Perez up a couple of different times while Medina was on the mound. But Eric Wedge showing a lot of confidence, and he was pitching well, so he stayed with him. Yeah. So if they don't get the double play, Oliver's in the game. Well, he has to because you have right. Moss coming up next. Absolutely. Moss with 13 home runs on the year, left-handed hitter. Indy's going to hold. Hopefully, he took part of that in the face. Ball bounced up on Moss's Parker. A couple of throws over the first one was wide. This one he just bikes it, throws it in the dirt. Yep, it did. It came up and hit him in the face. Count here to Seeger. Three and one with the Bunyas on deck. We constantly talk about the A's when the Mariners are playing the A's, about their patience and making pitchers work. Mariners did a good job of that early yesterday. Straight with through 60 pitches to get through the first two innings yesterday. Be the 14th pitch of this inning for Parker. Runner goes, foul off. See that pitch well off the plate away in a 3 1 count. Kyle Seeger, the hitter, knows that Chavez is going to run on the pitch and he's trying to protect him, put the ball in play. He's on the move and pitch popped up. Immediate center field put away by Coco Crisp, two down. Bruce has us enclosed here. We've enjoyed spectacular weather 76 and perfect yesterday, 67 on Friday. Mariners have tomorrow off Pittsburgh in town for a couple of games. Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the Mariners get Thursday off as well before the Cubs come to town. Ball one to Raul. Morales getting an afternoon off. That's good planning by Eric Wedge with the off day schedule tomorrow and then a night game on Tuesday. Give Morales a chance to heal his back. So Kendricks don't even start moving till the sixth inning. Might need you. Enjoy the downtime. That Raul, the home run was <laughs> against Sean Doolip. He's only hitting a buck 92 against lefties. Blevins. Blevins, baby. Blevins, yeah. A buck 92, five homers, 11 ribbies. Major damage. Well, and that's what Eric Wedge cares about. Yep. If, if they if they hang him a breaking ball, or throw him a fastball in the middle of the plate, he can hurt him, and he's done that. That's one count. And he's when he's in the lineup, he's typically going to be in those situations late in the game. Out 
thrown into the glove. The catcher Derek Norris. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Still impressed by that list he's on. Home runs, 41 years old. Man, is that something. 2-2. Two -two. Job is back in the yeah. over two and they steal it. All of them all stars and what six or seven Hall of Famers on there. Hall of Famers of Williams, Winfield, Usual, Reggie Jackson, McCovey, and Fisk. We can debate Bonds another time. And he's going to he's going to pass a number of those guys again. There's half a season to climb the ladder on there. And a great break. Swung on. Did he Driven again? deep to right. Looking up Reddick. He's giving up on it. It's gone. A home run. Oh, the button is checking in on a Sunday. Another home run. His 16th of the year. Gives him 41 RBIs. Wow. 2 nothing Mariners. He's dialed in, Mike. <laughs> Curtis is going to have to revise the list. Yeah, and he's moving up on it. 16th home run of the year. Again, hitting clean up today because Morales has the afternoon off. Fastball right in the middle of the plate. He can still turn on a good fastball. He hit a breaking ball out last night. Look at the way he pulls his hands in to get the barrel to it. That is picture perfect swing on a fastball that was middle in. Two nothing Mariners. And the list. We just hit it up. It's updated. Thank you, Paulie and the crew. Yes, yes, down there below Craig Nettles. And now look at him right there. Stan usual next. Boy, those are some names. <laughs> you got that. Another look at the swing by Raul. Stays on the backside. You can see him. Gets the barrel to it, and they're excited. They know it's out of the ballpark. I want a goody. So on the right center field, and Chris will take care of. Raul Abanez highlights the first inning for the Mariners this Sunday afternoon. Big battle. Who wouldn't want Raul's 16th home run ball right there? Two run shot, and the Mariners are on top. Two nothing. Two nothing. Brandon Moss going to lead it off against Jeremy Bunderman here in the second. Talking to Aaron Durang about a bunny, says he remembers facing him years ago, and he said I threw him a changeup one time, and he yanked it out of here. And the 
the guys that told me before the game, be careful leaving anything up. <laughs> and Harang remembers it like it was yesterday. Which is a little bit unusual for left-handed hitters, but he, we've seen him tomahawk some pitches. Sunday half to Franklin. One out. Probably happy DH today. Just has to hit, and he's already done that. How often did you DH? Not very often. What was your day like? I, I liked I liked it when you have a day game and you get a chance to DH. It's just it's a little bit more relaxing. And what about your routine between uh, ABs? You know what? I tried a couple of different things. Ride a bike. You know, go up and get some swings off the tee because they have the cages and all the ballparks now. I found the best thing is to do exactly what he's doing. Just watch the game. You know, maybe if you know your turn is going to come up if you're hitting in the top four spots. Take a couple of swings, but you that's got, about you it. You're gonna hit off the tee or anything? Yeah, or off just, the tee. Yeah, that's it. Just a few. Make sure you're loose, and then run up there and hit again. I certainly can appreciate how you guys are in the Hall of Edgar Martinez. Well, he was, you know, and the thing that a lot of people don't know that Edgar, he didn't want a DH. He wanted to stay in the field, but obviously it was just he was just too valuable, too important. I had to keep him in the lineup daily, and he was starting to go through some injuries. But when he became the DH, everybody knows you can see him all the time, even on the TV shots. He would be there. He had that donut on his back, constantly moving it around. He would do the same thing, go hit off the tee. But he figured it out. But he, he didn't want to do it at first. He wanted, he wanted to stay in the field. I think Lou made the right choice there to make him the DH. It's off to play three and one, Curtis. For the 13 games you had at DH, batting average was 300. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Got you to have that committed to memory. Come on, man. 300. That's a good. That's a good average. DH. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. You know. And, 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 and if I was DH, and I'm sure a lot of that came towards the end of my career. So, a little better. A little better equipped to handle it. Right. I hear you. You had matured. <laughs> yeah. Well, like a fine yeah, wine. Body was hurting too, so <laughs> happy coming to the clubhouse lineup. Yeah, great. DH, all right. Up the middle for Franklin. He was a savvy veteran at that point, right? Exactly. Talking about Kyle Seeger in there as far as games played this year. I don't think we'll see him as the DH. Maybe once this year. Young guys, run them out there. They're ready to hey play. Man, he's got 15 years before he can worry about that stuff, right? <laughs> exactly. Let him go. And he'll, he'll, he will get them too. He'll get the years in. He's a good one. And again, everywhere we go, talk to guys in the other clubhouse, the other broadcasters. I like your third baseman. Well, I, I got a chance to listen to Aaron Goldsmith today on the radio, and he was talking to Josh Donaldson. And Josh was just raving about Kyle. So the other players certainly know. Oh, yeah. Foul off by Reddick. Three for eight in a series for Reddick, a couple of strikeouts. The young guys, big foundation for the Mariners as we move forward. It's a good infield. I don't know if anybody around the National is talking about Smoke's ability to pick it at first, but he's he's up there, very impressive. His ability is around the bag. Well, I think he's underrated right now. The flip side of that, everybody's aware of Brendan Ryan's work at shortstop. Two nothing on a roll of Bunyas two run homer. I've been trying to get the third out here in the second inning. He's given up one base hit to Seth Smith, the second batter of the ball game.
How good must he feel inside, right? Well, I, I think he don't think that worked out beautifully for him. I'm sure he he didn't even know leaving spring training how much he was going to get to play. What his role was going to be exactly, but because of injuries and you talked to him about a month ago. Remember that stretch where he was hardly playing. Remember that? Well, I, well now we're getting probably it was probably closer to two, two months, months ago when ago. I had that conversation. Now, six weeks or so and about it, and I think since then he's been in the lineup just about every day, and he's made the most of it. What a battle this! The updated numbers for Raul Lapanez. You know, and talking to Eric Wedge, and we're on the road trip. I think, yeah, I think it was in Anaheim. Yeah, it was in Anaheim. I was talking to Robbie Thompson, and Robbie was even talking just about his work ethic and what he does. And that's good at bat for Rank to get a base hit. Nine pitches comes up to the base hit. But he was talking about him working out, and he says he works out harder than any of them do. Puts his time in, and, you know. For the younger guys, it's a good example for them to see if they want to play this game until they're 41 like Raul. It's 18 years in the big leagues now. Does all that extra work. Wade just talking about him today. Uh, not because somebody's putting a gun to his head, but he had he wants to do it. It's part of who he is. And I've talked to some veteran pitchers and they said they can't believe it. I mean, shows up every day, on time, ready to work, doesn't complain. Good guy to be around. He's a, he's a treasure. Yeah. And you know, for him, it's worked out great to be, you know, getting towards the end of his career and to be home. This is his home now, and has his family here. Makes it easy, or easier for him. Anyway. Eric Norris, the hitter, on one. Uh, back with a strike, going two. 18th season. Boy, 1157 RBIs, 287 home runs. Good stuff. He was 20. A 20 year old kid. I, I, I think about it all the time when I see him being down in the instructional league with him blocking balls when he was catching. And just. Hoping for an opportunity one day to even get to the big leagues. At that point, when I was down there, I was kind of bouncing back and forth. At least I'd been there, but man, he really put a career together. So Kevin Seitzer had a lot to do with turning him around, swinging the bat when he was in Kansas City. One and two. Well, the other part of it too is when he went to Kansas City is when he really was able to string some at bats together, get a real opportunity to play, and you now he made the most of it. Two pitches thrown by Bonderman to this point. Well, nine of them were to Reddick, who's at first. Now Norris is fouling pitches off. Reddick had fouled a number of pitches off. 38 total now for Bonderman, 23 of those for strikes. Through 95 pitches, he threw about 20 to Coco Crisp. Runner goes, swung on and missed, and that'll do it for the Athletics. As Bunderman racks up strikeout number two, strands a runner, and the Mariners will come up with Smoke, Zanino, and Saunders when we get back.
to a good start through two innings, giving up no runs on two hits, and he struck out two. Thanks to Raul Banya's two run homer in the first. He's got a lead of two nothing. But he smoked Zanino and Saunders coming up here in the home second. This work by Bonderman to get Norris. Swing and miss to end the second inning. Top of the second. Yeah, have it. Two innings of work, 39 pitches. Bonderman trying to win a second ball game of the year is win. Against the Yankees here on June 7th, he went six innings in that victory, four to one. Justin Smoke to lead off. That's it, strike one. Smoke two for three last night. Walk and a run scored. This far, four for seven. There's the good change up. 81 miles an hour working off of this fastball, which today has been 92, 93. Big shift on with Justin hitting. One of the hits that he's had in this series, a little cue shot off the end of the bat, ended up working its way into left field for him. Foul ball snagged by Moss. That's a big number. David Strasburg, number one in that category. He of the Washington Nationals, one, two. And Smoke's gone for a strikeout for Parker. One down here in the second. This Friday. Mariners light up the diamond against the Cubs. 7 10 start time. Then after the game, they're going to light up the sky. Safe Goldfield's first ever fireworks show. Come on out. It's a great family out of here at the ballpark. A kickoff summer here in Seattle. Get your tickets for Mariners fireworks tonight. Log on to Mariners.com. Mike Zanino. 24 hour flu. Here he is back at it again. He was my pick to click today. All right. Yeah, biggest reason why is because you mentioned the flu. I always felt that when I was a little bit under the weather, I seemed to swing the bat better. High pop, right field. He just missed that. Reddick puts it away. He felt a little loose. You didn't feel like you were trying to. I was try just trying much. to get through the day. You know, you didn't all the other stuff that normally you're concerned about. You don't worry about any of that and dragging your just, body. Yeah, you're just more relaxed. You're not trying to do too much. And you know, by the end of the day, you get two or three hits because of it. Here's Michael Saunders. He's one for eight against Parker and trying to break out of a slump that he's been in. Down year for him. He was leadoff hitter for a while and did a heck of a job. Early part of the season. Well, that was when you had a lot of hope on what his season was going to look like. He was off to a fast start, crashed into a wall, and really when he first came back to the DL, from what I can remember, he was swinging the bat pretty well. And then it's just been a rough month for him. And he seems when that's happening, he seems to find himself in these sorts of counts: 0-2-1-2, constantly behind. Makes it even tougher. Let's look at Dave Hanson, the hitting coach, working with Michael, trying to get him going again. Two and two. Michael entered last night as a defensive replacement. Went one for four on Friday night. Two two. See why that is such an effective pitch for Parker. He has tremendous arm speed on his changeup. Really sells it to the hitter. Brendan Ryan's on deck. Two nothing. Thanks to Raul Lapine's homer in the first. It's been driven pretty well. Deep left center field. Cespedes is given chase. He's on the track and he makes the catch against the fence. We've seen.
seen Saunders last week drive it the opposite way three, four times. And here's Cespedes making a fine catch up against the fence to take possible extra bases away from Saunders. Mariners retired into second. Here comes the third. Yoannis Cespedes, he's been dangerous with his bat, but I tell you what, a very good athlete, the young Cuban. Goes up against the fence to Rob Michael Saunders for the third out of the second inning. Nice play. There's Eric Sogard, second baseman for the Athletics. Three for four last night, a couple of runs scored. His hot hitting continues. Base hit the left. The Mariners and the Cubs are turning back the hands of time to more than 100 years to celebrate this year's turn back the clock day. Join us Saturday, 4:15 start time. These two teams take the field, turn to the century uniforms. Plus, the first 20,000 fans are going to take home a vintage poster. For tickets to turn back the clock day, log on to Mariners.com. Look at some of the old stuff. The old school look. How about the old gloves, huh? It's a good poster. Look forward to seeing that. Top of the order and Coco Crisp. Kyle Seeger looked like he was serious about it, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> <Foul ball. laughs> I was thinking, seeing the replay again. Michael Saunders standing out at second base as he was taking his batting gloves off, you know, and hand him go back in the field. I, I can't begin to tell you, especially when you're struggling and you square a ball up like he just did, and you mentioned three or four times. We've seen him do that and it being caught, how frustrating that is. You, you feel like you're trying to find it, and then when you finally square it, you want to be rewarded with it, but that's not the way this game works. It, it can be frustrating and hard to deal with at times. He's a couple broken bat loopers yep, off his fist. That, right? that is right. <laughs> What, 55 what a, hopper that finds a hole, you know, something. All the time we talk about you're trying to get out of it, go up the middle the other way. And typically that's when you get jammed a little bit because you're going to let the ball travel. And Michael's trying to go the other way. He's hitting the barrel to it again. He just can't find a hit. And the, and the hardest part, too, I think, and especially for younger players, is to understand that what you're doing is the right approach and just stay with it because it will eventually it will eventually come around for you. And so many times they want to change and start to do too much again, figure they have to hit it even harder. And that's 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 the worst thing that you can do. Let me go back to your position talk to yourself. Lips lips moving and everything. Yeah. Double play. How quick did he get rid of the ball they caught it? 
I'm See telling you, the, the, the years that he spent at second base turning double plays has served him well at third. There's a line drive right at him, and watch how quickly he gets rid of it. With something on it. That's no hesitation, no extra look. Line right at him, slicing away from him in just one motion. Turns the double play. Quick hands from the Bill Mazeroski, Nelly yeah, Fox, quick go. hand school. Big double play. Here's good hitter Seth Smith. Base hit to right. No muss. Two nothing Mariners. What's next? Day off tomorrow, and then the Pittsburgh Pirates come to town. Jeff Lott will face off against Joe Saunders. Lock six and one with an ERA just over two. Pittsburgh Pirates playing well. He is pitching well. Be a good couple of games. Joe Saunders also he's on a good run. Joe Saunders has been throwing the ball extremely well. Five wins on the season. Jeff Lock, 2.01 ERA, leads the National League. Swing and a miss by Ryan. In fact, it's the second best ERA in baseball. Behind Clay Buckles, 171 of the Red Sox. A couple of hits in the series for Mr. Ryan. Ryan started off the eighth inning with a base hit to left. Came yes. around and scored on the Franklin two run single. Set the inning up. Wild pitch and then the bunt by Chavez. Change up.
strikes out. One down at the second strikeout for Jared Parker. Back to the top of the order, Nandy Chavez. They sit to left. Start the Mariner first. Oh, Toronto Blue Jays did it again. By Josh Johnson. They blew out Baltimore 13 4. That's 11 consecutive victories. And he swings through. Out of Steven Baseball, they're now two games above 500. They've come a long way, baby. At what point do you consider them in the race? Let's take a look wow. at them. the East right it's now, the tight, standing. Tight race. I, they're in it. As far as I'm concerned. Five games back. On a head to head competition is Parker. Good point. Two outs. Carnacion had a home run today. And Detroit beat Boston 7 5. Mr. Cabrera, two more hits, 370 batting average. And Chavez out, first ground ball out today. One Franklin fly out to right. Nick was out in front of a changeup, skied it out to right, but his timing wasn't quite there for him. And you can see the pitch up out over the plate. Fifth pitch of the at bat, his first at bat. So if he makes an adjustment to it. Sterling Bank, nobody works harder for you. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. By CenturyLink, your link to what's next. And by Mazda, we believe if it's not worth driving, it's not worth building. Fans in Astoria, Oregon recognize this, the wreck of a Peter Iredale. There you go. Cloudy day, surf looks pretty good down there. Safeco Field in Seattle, 2-0 Mariners. Raul Abanez, two-run homer in the first for Jeremy Bunderman. 
Bonderman got a double play. It was huge in the third inning for him. He struck out two, hasn't walked anybody, giving up three hits. Well struck deep right center field. That ball is caught. Oh, baby! Franklin Gutierrez! Wow, what a catch! That's off the bat of Jed Lowry. Well, Lowry took Andy Chavez to the wall. His first time up, and then this ball is a shot out to right field. We know Franklin Gutierrez always gets a good jump on the ball, usually takes a straight route to it. And you can see the concentration. He knows the wall's coming up. But a good catch, bracing himself as he hits the padded wall out there. Lowry swinging it. Cespedes struck out on a 3 2 pitch to end the first. Another look at Franklin. That's why they have the warning track out there. Franklin hits that with his feet. He never looked down. He's watching the ball the entire way, but he knows where he's at. The wall is coming close. Hit the center field. Easier play for Goody. Two down. See, Mark Carlson, second base umpire, had a good look. Checked early. And it steps down. No problem. Good to have him back last night, first time back after second stint on the DL. Homer on the 3-2 pitch leading off the second inning. Here's Brendan Moss. Grounded out the second first time. Step and a half closer to the line. I think he would have been able to make a play on it if it had stayed fair. See how close Justin is to the line. One one pitch. Two and one. Second and first two or three innings struggling with his fastball to see him in his last two, the last outing, and now this one have the early command of his fastball is encouraging to where he is at. He has good sync to it. He's 91, 92 at times. He can rush it up there at 94 miles an hour. But I, I, I like the movement on his fastball to go with the good curve. Ronderman made 11 starts down at Tacoma, two and four with a 4.52 ERA. Six times he went six or more innings. Full count here to Moss with Josh Donaldson on deck. As a matter of fans are discussing on Twitter, Raul Banez and Jeremy Bunder. 3 2. Lost. First walk for Jeremy. Tried to throw a curveball three and two and missed with it. Maybe a change up, but it was definitely an off speed pitch. It was only 83 miles an hour. Gonna bring up Josh Donaldson, best hitter and RBI leader for the A's. 46 runs batted in. Started tonight at 307 batting average. Breaking 
ball. See quite a bit of Donaldson. The one thing we know about him is he will turn it loose. It's a big stride and big swing for Donaldson. He has 10 home runs on the year. Coming off two for four performance with an RBI last evening. Scrambled by Zanino. Like Donaldson was saying something to Mike as he was coming back, picking up his mask. Certainly knows what it's like. Converted catcher. He was a catcher and they moved him to third. Really good, really good transition. Two one. Foul. Certainly not going to take the beating third base. I mean, he's going to get his share of hot, hot smashes, but not like the beating you take behind the ditch. I'm sure he's happy. To move over there. His fingers in his hands. Thank you. Knees. Two two. Count. And I saw it down at first. Bonnerman thought he had a strikeout. That's close. Borderline, I would I would say. Another 3-2 count now for Bonderman. Moss had a 3-2 count and walked. Now here's Donaldson in a 3-2 count. Paid off right here, three two. Foul back. Inning started with Lowry sending Goody to the fence. Another fly ball by Cespedes. Moss walked and now battle with Donaldson. Three pitches to the first two batters are sitting, and then 13 to the next two. Two pitch, runner goes, ball four, lost. Chang runs aboard. You don't like to see that. A couple of quick outs and then back to back walks. Reddick with a base hit. His first time up, that came in the second inning. Mariners had to shift on and a little ground ball base hit into left field. That was a nine pitch at bat. Two outs, runners at first and second. Line drive right at Indy Chavez, inning over. Underman breathe a sigh of relief. The lead stays at 2 0.
a two run homer in the first inning. We take a look at the Mariners calendar brought to you by Sleep Country USA. Day off tomorrow, Mariners Care Golf Tournament going on. And then the Pittsburgh Pirates come to town for a couple of days. Wednesday, Felix will be pitching at the 12 30, 12 40. First pitch, another day off on Thursday. Cubs to town, and then a short road trip. Texas and Cincinnati. Or Mike, the humidity is going to be big. Air conditioning, please. Polo shirts, please. <laughs> Now Seager going to lead off Seager Banyas Gutierrez. Fourth inning here. Against Jared Parker. Two and two against the Mariners. A 5-4-8 ERA. Two and oh here at Safeco and 0-2 at open. But gives Raul a fastball to hit. And he turns it around 92 miles an hour, hits it into the seats. His 16th home run of the year. Puts Raul in the top 10 now. Home runs. Back one. He's put the shift on. Sogar, the second baseman, playing shallow right field. Donaldson, the third baseman, playing out the shortstop position. League leader in home runs starting today, Chris Davis with 27, and Carnacion with 20, and Cabrera with 20. Carnacion hit one today, 13 4 Toronto win. Pitches in the first inning, he's starting to get his pitch count back into good shape. Just 53 pitches now here in the fourth, so he's had a few quick innings. One, two, three, second, same in the third, and a quick out here in the fourth. Parker started out this season losing his first four decisions before beating the Angels. Went one and four in April, two and two in May. Four game winning streak last uh, right now. And two and two here to Raul. We'll count. Three two to Banez. One of the better fastballs from Parker. That last fastball at 94. Let's 
see Gutierrez on deck 3 2. It's in well, right Again. field. Reddick going back. He is done another home run. Raul Abundis is on fire. He's unconscious. 17 home runs. Wow. Two for two day. Three RBIs. Three nothing Mariners. Mike, we just looked at each other like, what? <laughs> you heard me again? Really? Take a look at it. This is the changeup. This is his best pitch, and he reaches down. That pitch is almost on the plate. And he just golfs this one out to right center field. That's home runs in three of his last three of his last four at bats. Wow, man. And this pitch is down. This is going to be a ball. You can see Norris trying to reach out and get it before it hits the dirt, and he gets just enough to hit it over the 380 mark. Barely clears the fence, but it counts. 18th multi home run game in his career. One one to Goody. Definition of a hot hitter. Five ball right field. Reddick put this away. Two outs. Let's update that list. 41 year olds. Home runs by 41 year old in the season. Let's see. There's a bunch of Yeah. Well, we were talking about the start of the game. I didn't mean he had to move up the list today that much. I mean, it's okay, though. Yeah, go ahead. Dan Musial up next. That is impressive. And it's June 23rd. Break one, the smoke was struck out his first time. Runs in his last four at bats. Back to back here. Well, we were you were talking to me earlier about my conversation with Raul about six weeks ago when he was struggling. We were talking about him being in between pitches. Well, right now he's on everything. He's hit a fastball out. You can see where that off speed pitch that was down out in front of the plate hits that out. A, but last night he's not missing anything right now. So where he was at, he definitely figured it out. And he's in good shape. Looks like Franklin Goodyear is having a problem talking to Rob Nodine in the. That's not good. No, in the dugout. Robbie Thompson was over there. Two and two. Good news, Goody staying in the dugout, so he'll be back out. Two two pitch. His, all his joints feel fine now. Hence his comeback last night. Oh boy, he's worked up a nice lather, seeing everything, hitting everything hard. Shift, I got your shift. Game's fun for him right now. Makes a needle on deck. Two strikes out second time in a ball game for Parker his third of the game but Mr. Raul Abanez solo home run and the Mariner lead is three nothing.
game, but right now, Raul Ibanez has the Mariners up 3-0. Hi, everyone. Angie Bentink here at the Ford Sports Desk. Just a short time ago, the Mariners announced that they signed their eighth-round draft pick, Tyler Smith. And he had a good reason for waiting. Smith just returned from Omaha where he played with Oregon State at the College World Series. Smith hit 308 with 10 doubles, two home runs for the Beavers this year. He will now report to Pulaski in Virginia to start his pro career next week. And by the way, a note on the other Tyler, Tyler Olson out of Gonzaga, guys. He had a no-hitter going into the fifth inning, but of course they had to pull him because he was on a pitch count. Yikes. Wow. That's the way it goes. Good stuff. Good to have Tyler in the building here. Derek Norris leading off the fifth. Wide ball to left center field. Mr. Saunders takes care of it. There's Tyler Smith. Congratulations, young man. Joe Ross, the scout. To your left. Big day. Great day. Probably anxious to get started next week. Get his career underway. One out here in the fifth. Eric Sogard, the second baseman. Got a base hit the left and was erased in a double play in the third. Coco Chris lined to Seeger and Seeger quick release. Threw over to first to get Sogard. Two no from Bonderman. Jeremy's struck out two, walked two. Giving up three hits. Center field. Goody played it perfectly, two outs. Coming up Wednesday, ditch the work clothes. Put on a bright yellow t shirt. Join the Kings Court. Felix Hernandez takes them out against the Pirates. 12:40 start time for 30 bucks. Here's what you're going to get: a King's Court T-shirt, a cake cart, and a seat. Sit Felix's Sun Soap Court. The tickets to get out of the office and into the King's Court. Go to Mariners.com/Felix. We designed on a T-shirt. Two outs here. Coke, Coke, Chris, both for two. Hey, right about Raul. Being hot, hitting everything hard. Curtis tells me that since May 15th, this is the fifth time he's hit home runs in back to back games. Mm. That's in a month. That is hot. That's what that is. Go ahead. Three run homer yesterday. Two run homer to get things started today, and then the solo shot. Everybody wants a piece of that information. What do you see? What are you doing? Maybe I can something. I can learn something. Give me a tip. <laughs> How are you slowing this game down like that? <laughs> Henry Blanco, his turn right now. <laughs> a lot of hard work. I'll get you in the right direction anyway. Two outs, nobody on, and a 2 2 cap to Coco Crisp. Saunders on the case. Nice hitting for Bonderman. Very nicely done. Flew five. Bonderman's done his job. How about Raul? He's driven in all three runs.
Today's Tracer Technology is brought to you by the Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. Couple of home runs by Raul Labunya, says the Mariners on top three nothing. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Here's Mike Zanino to lead it off. Bottom third of the order. Zanino Saunders and Ryan 789. Mike flied out to right in his first at bat. Mariners have not had a player. It's 16 home runs in the first 77 team games of the season since Russell Brandon went for 19 in 09. Oh, you got love of the diving Donaldson base hit Mike Zanino on an 0-2 pitch. Off speed pitch hits it hard. Donaldson dives for it. It goes right off the end of his glove. But a solid base hit for Mike Zanino. Good for Mike. Mm -hmm. Zanino is fifth hit since being called up. Michael Saunders he took Cespedes to the fence in deep left center field for the third out in the second inning. Try to get out in front of a pitch, take advantage of the hole on the right side of the infield. Or you can see with the first baseman holding Zanino on 55 Hopper will work its way through the infield on the right side. See, we're in Homer by Raul Abanez in a first solo blast in the fourth. For all the scoring to this point. Check swing. Donaldson up the hurry to get Saunders. And he gets him. Down the second is Zanino. Bring up Brendan Ryan who struck out his first time. Chance to score a run here. He's got Zanino down at second base. And for Brendan, he saw a bunch of breaking balls and change-ups in his first at bat. Let's we'll see if he can stay back just a little bit longer. Two for eight in the series. Six over his last 11 games since June 11th. It's a strike one and two.
One out with Zanino down at second base. That call. Strikes out. Let's strike out number four. We're here struggling mightily. He's going to have to regroup and start sitting on some breaking balls. There's an affordable, fun day coming up for the whole family at Safe Goldfield. BEC family nights, mom, dad, and the whole gang. Pick up few level seats for only ten dollars to cheer on Felix Rollins and the Mariners. Next event, the big one, coming up Tuesday against the Pirates at 7:10. So get your tickets, your ten dollar tickets. Visit Mariners.com slash specials. Indy Chavez. Indy one for two. His batting average up to 292 now. You bet. Leads off the game with a single. Now 10 for 32. There's the Mariners leadoff, man. As you mentioned, he's got a hit at least. At least one hit, 35 of his 40 starts. Nino at second base with two outs. The guy. Sophia, proud of her of her work. <laughs> Color a picture of your favorite Mariner player to hang on the fleet. Chavez ahead in the count two and one. Knocked down by Parker. And throws that Indian. That'll do it for the Mariners. As they will move on to the sixth inning with a three nothing lead. Home runs, and we welcome you back to Safeco Field. Right now, let's check in Ford Sports Desk, Bill Kruger. And Bill, 
with Jeremy Bunderman being out since the 2010 season here he's back and pitching well for the Mariners in fact he's got 17 scoreless innings here at Safeco Field. Uh, how impressed are you with what he's done to this point. Well I'm really impressed uh, you take two plus years away from the game and you uh, have the talent to start with to come back and pitch at this level and do it as well as he's been doing but it's also the grind he left the game with a with a lot with an assort, assortment of injuries a lot of frustration because he had lost his stuff and sort of like uh, maybe good farmland that needs rest and you can come back and plant something really good and bring that great crop back it's sort of like that this guy is only 30 years old he made it to the big leagues when he was 20 he was drafted as a junior out of high school so he's not too old but I think the competitive edge that he's built getting away realizing he still had a lot of gas in the tank left he had something to prove and he's refined his game a little bit he's much better at pitching rather than just overwhelming people with stuff. And it's working out well for him as we mentioned 17 scoreless here at Safeco Field line drive right field Bill, thank you so much good to have you on with us. Thank you. Seth Smith with a lead off single. Yeah I, I think it's impressive enough just to want to work your way back to this point he's been that and the injuries that he's had to deal with. But the fact that he's been able to get back and then pitch as well as he has. It's impressive. Let's see his distribution 80 pitches 64 percent of those are fastballs. Twenty two thousand eight hundred thirteen on hand little league day here. Safe Cove field here's Jed Lowry. He took Chavez to the fence he took Goody to the fence. A long out to his first two plate appearances. See he's five for nine in the series and has hit the ball hard twice. This afternoon. It's been a good addition to the A's. Other base hit. Here come the A's at the tenth best batting average in the American League, fourth in runs, sixth in hits, and ninth in home runs. And the tying run coming to the plate in Cespedes, their home run leader. Cespedes today is struck out. 3 2 pitch in the first inning. Second inning on an 0 1 pitch fly to center. Dangerous hitter. See the location on the EQC tracer. We'll stay out of that area. Cespedes 0 for 4 last night. First game of the series. He went deep twice. Two two run homers. And Nito keeps it right there at home plate. Threat mounted by the A's to this point. So we play here in the sixth. At the end of the bat. Good breaking ball. Now he's hit one and two. Get that slider off the plate down and away, so you can get him to chase it. We've seen Cespedes when he gets two strikes, has a tendency to expand the zone and chase that pitch off the plate. Since coming over from Cuba, Cespedes has hit 38 home runs. The big leagues 10 against the Mariners. It's 26 percent. Critical out. One two from Bonderman. Slow chopper. And now they get the runner. Held up. 
between third and they'll put a tag on Seth Smith so they get the one out. So one out. Runners at first and second. Brandon Moss, the hitter, double play will get him out of this thing. And up to this point, the Mariners pitchers have been able to handle him 0 for 10 for the series. And he is second on their club in home runs, 13 home runs on the year for Brandon Moss. He'll be careless. Yeah. Just so far for Jeremy, 53 strikes. Starts for Bunderman, 19 and a third pitched, allowing just one run. Josh Donaldson on deck. Broken back, Luke Bird comes Goody, it comes Saunders, can't get it. Runners head the hole, so the bases are loaded. That'll bring up Josh Donaldson, the RBI leader for the Athletics. Well, the outfield had to play deep and respect the power of Moss. You can see it's a good pitch down just off the plate, and he hits it off the end of the bat, breaks his bat. Franklin not able to get to it in time. As Dave mentioned, the good news the runners had to wait to see if Franklin was going to have a play, so they didn't score. Carl Willis, the pitching coach, making a trip out to the mound. Going to give some guys are starting to stir out into the bullpen, so give some guys a chance to get loose out there. And Jeremy, though, just ground ball away from getting out of the inning. Donaldson due up right handed hitter. So far, Danny. Donaldson a ground out in the walk. And Danny Farquhar getting loose in the pen. And he threw an inning last night, two hits, three strikeouts. Carl said his had his say. And now Donaldson. One out, the base is loaded. First pitch to Donaldson. Now back. Base is loaded, less than two outs. Donaldson. Five out of six on the season. Kids having a good year. One one. Jam here for Mr. Bunderman with one out, bases loaded. Mariners playing him straight up. One one. Swing and a miss. Good curveball. 
ball with two strikes. It's just off the plate away, gets him to chase it. There are a couple of options now, one or two. He can try to throw a fastball in off the plate and go back to the curveball, just throw that pitch again. One two pitch. Two. two. Tried it again, another curveball. Two strikes. Josh Donaldson, the pitch. Gets by. Zanino play at the play. And he's in there. Scoring on the play. Jed Lowry. Wild pitch by Thunderman. He's on the board. The other runners move up. I don't know about that. Quick call by official scorer Darren Padour. Well, Jeremy knows a lot of problems. One, you give up a run right there, but you also take the double play out of the equation, which would get him out of the inning. Two runners in scoring position. I got Cespedes at third and Moss at second with one out. Three two pitch. Almost hit him and the bases are loaded again. Well, the threads have come quite loose here in the sixth. And his pitch count is up there too. He's in 97 pitches now, 57 strikes. And that's going to be it. Eric Wood making a trip out to the mound. It's going to be Danny Farquhar. So bases loaded. A run and one out. And Danny Farquhar coming into the fire. Left by Jeremy Bunderman, who's going to leave with the lead of three to one. Kyle Seeger will come to bat when we get to the bottom of the sixth inning, and I think this should make him smile. Kyle's younger brother, Justin, starting off his career with the Everett Aqua Sox, and it's off to a heck of a start. He has five hits in his first three games, including three during the first game of a doubleheader yesterday. He was three for three yesterday in that game. Seeger and the Aqua Sox continue their series with Hillsborough today at 4 p.m. Justin was picked in the 12th round of the draft this year. Guys, back upstairs to you. All right, Angie, thank you very much. Jeremy Bunderman, his day is done after five and a third. Got into a mess here in the sixth. Well, he did. He was cruising along until the sixth inning, but five and a third, six hits, 
One run, it was earned three walks, a couple of strikeouts, 97 pitches, 57 of those for strikes, and he is responsible for all three of the runners. Bases loaded here for Danny Farquhar, his 11th appearance of the year. 26 strikeouts and 16 and two thirds. That's a really good number, only seven walks. First batter efficiency at 64%. Got Reddick here, and Reddick fouls one back this way, strike one. Reddick. Base hit to left and a fly to right this far. Three one Mariner lead. Pitch to Reddick. In there for strike two. Danny will use a cut fastball. It'll be 90, 91 miles an hour. He also has a four seamer that'll be 95, 96. Cespedes at third, Moss at second, Donaldson at first. Farquhar one two here to Reddick. Ground ball, Franklin makes a stop. We'll get the one out. Two down, one scores. Nice play. RBI for Reddick. He's 22nd. And talking about his range, good range for Franklin. Thought about possibly going to second. You can see the runner, Donaldson, in front of you. But I think he makes the right decision as you take a look again at Nick Franklin. Jammed him a little bit, but he's able to get to it. John Jaso, former Mariner, he's going to pinch it now for Derek Norris. He'll stay on and do the catching. So had a hand contusion two nights ago was a late scratch. Strike one. Ground ball hit down to Franklin. Stays with it. The Mariners give up two runs, but still lead as we go to the bottom. Of the sixth inning, and coming up, Franklin Seeger and Abanez here in the Sunday afternoon.
Time for the AT&T trivia question. Who held the season home run record for the most years? Babe Ruth, Roger Connor, Roger Maris, or Ned Williamson? The Ruth, 27. Let's see, Maris was 61. Roger Connor had to be. 1890s probably. Yeah. Frank, I think Frank home run Baker was the first one I remember getting in the teens. And that was in around, that was about 1909-ish. Ed Williams. And then when did, uh, who was it? Uh, McGuire broke the one ahead of Maris. That was what, that was in 98. Okay, well, uh, Go with Maris. Good Maris and Shad. I'll go with you. All right. And Franklin leading off, fouling one back. Jared Parker had a long rest. As the Athletics sent seven men to the plate in the sixth inning to get two runs on three hits and leave two. And for Bonderman, he ends up five and a third with a couple of runs. From behind 0 and 2. Franklin Seeger and Abanez here in the sixth. Aaron Runs coming on a two run shot by Abanez in the first and a solo blast in the fourth. Franklin strikes out. Jason flips down to Moss. One out. And results. And they go with Maris as well. Kyle Seeger flying out to center and the ground out the first. That strikeout for Parker, his fifth. John Jaso taking over behind the plate. Pinch hit for Derek Norris. Parker now 84 pitches, so he's he's okay with his pitch count. Time we're seeing Jaso in this series. And for Parker, before the start of this game, he'd gone five outings where he hadn't given up more than two runs, two earned runs. Kyle asking for timeout, didn't get it from the home plate umpire, Brian Knight. It'll be a strike. Mariners have put three earned runs on him thanks to Raul Labanias and his two homers. Gets it this time. Outside two and one. There it is. 87 pitches, 56 strikes. First pitch strikes, 21 batters face, 16 first pitch strikes for Parker. About back. Three weeks from today, the Mariners will be playing the Angels, and that'll be the final game before the All-Star break. Mariners go into the All-Star break four against the Red Sox, and three against the Angels. Cespedes. Two outs. All of Bunyas, three home runs in his last four at bats. This was a big one. Three run home run last night off of Blevins to tie the game 5 5 in the seventh. And then today, two run home run into the seats in right. It's on a 2 2 pitch. Yeah, that one is 16th home run of the year. Fourth inning and a 3 2 pitch. <laughs> You're not kidding. That's right off his shoe waist. Yeah. <laughs> you can see Norris, the catcher, is reaching out there trying to get it on the short hop. That ball would have probably hit the plate or maybe gotten just past it. He golfed it out. Jason Bays on deck, so 
Hopefully we'll get a medical update on Franklin Gutierrez. We had seen uh, showed him earlier. Last inning. On the bench. I know bench coach Robbie Thompson. And assistant head athletic trainer Rob Nogai. They coming off some hamstring. Issues he was worked out by Rick Griffin. Had athletic trainer before today's game. Jason said he was good to go yesterday, but now he's going to get a chance to play here today. Is the oldest player with a multi home run game since 42 year old Barry Bonds. And 07. Was a little in there as well. Two and two. <laughs> I'd like to have that one. That was a good hack and a change if that was up and out over the plate. There you go. You can see our EQC tracer on the location of that pitch. Good swing by Raul, but he missed it. Two and two, two out, nobody on. Parker now. First time they've retired a Banyas today. Parker with a good inning with two strikeouts. Seventh inning coming up in the Mariners by one. Terrific music video. You see Goody make a catch up against the fence. He's out of the game. Hopefully we'll get a medical update before long. So Jason Bay takes over in left field and moving from left field to center field is Michael Saunders. Danny Farquhar continues on here. Eric Sogard leads off. You have to think that when he crashed into the wall in center field, making a catch, banged himself up. Nine one and two here for the Athletic Silguard, Chris and Smith. <laughs> Eric Wedge would like to get a quick, clean inning from far, far here in seventh. Wilhelmson warming up right now. Two ball 
Was one strike so great today. Base hit to left, fly to center. Strong performance last night, three for four, two runs scored. He's just been spraying it around too, hasn't he? Taking what he gets. His average up to 274 now. Two and two. Six miles an hour on the outside corner. Top of the order, Coco Crisp is over for three. Round out the first, lined out the third, line out the uh, fly out the left. Yesterday to get the win. There are 37 pitches in that outing, so he's quick turnaround with the day game. He, he probably he's probably not available. Eric Witt said it was a Sparky Lyle kind of save. I would agree. Multiple, <laughs> multiple innings. Old Goose Gossage. That's exactly right. That was the next name right <laughs> after he mentioned Lyle. Somebody mentioned Gossage. Is that right? Right with all your fans <laughs> on Sound Transit and enjoy freedom from traffic and parking. Plan your next trip. Visit SoundTransit.org. And Mr. Lyle will come in and get those three three inning saves. Goose, do the same. Do the same kind of thing. The game has changed. That we're talking what? That's mid to late seventies. Played with Goose Gossage in New York and here in Seattle. Goose a teammate. He used to talk about that. Get ready in the sixth. You never know. That's right. How about Goose in his final big league appearance with the Mariners? Got a three inning save. Trick for the strike in August of 94. I think they were actually in Oakland when that hit. It was strange as a player too. I can tell you that. You're in the middle of it. We were playing well and trying to climb in it. All of a sudden, pack your bags. You're, you're done. Go home. The guys were scattered all over the place in the Bay Area, trying to figure out where they were heading and how long they were going to be there. It was strange. At that time, what you guys were playing without a home, the home ballpark. Let's get ceiling yeah. tiles and yeah, we've been on the road for I think 30 days or oh, something like that. Terrible. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Nobody on except Smith. Ground ball to Franklin. Good inning. Well, Farquhar gave Eric Wedge just what he wanted. Now let's see if the Mariners can get some insurance runs. Coming up here in the home seventh. We'll keep it right here. And God bless America here on a cloudy day in Seattle with the roof extended. Protecting us from the elements. Raul Labanya has been the hitting star today. A two-run homer in the first and a solo blast in the fourth. America. Please welcome back Austin Amaya. God bless America. Land that I love. 
by watching this lottery what happens when you can buy trucks with bucks get an amazing second chance scratch game win a new truck or one of six ten thousand dollar cash prizes play the trucks and bucks second chance scratch drawing from washington's lottery today visit walottery.com for details time lapse photography cloudy day here in seattle we've got the roof Protecting us this afternoon. Mariners holding a 3 2 lead. Raul Labanez has counted for all the runs. A two run shot in the first, solo blast in the fourth. Here in the home seventh, Jason Bay took over in left field in the top half of the inning. I think Gutierrez had to leave the game because of a tight hamstring. So Bay getting a chance to swing the bat first time in a while. Bay's last game was a week ago at Oakland, but one for three. Jared Parker has to be getting to the end of it. 97 pitches, a season high 105. Excuse me, 108. It'll be Bay, Smoke, and Zanino here in the seventh inning. He's going to run on a wild pitch and an RBI ground out. Sixth. Jeremy Bunderman still pitcher of record for the Mariners. Parker's pitched well again. He's on a good run his last five outings, and outside of that man right there, Raul Labanez. A couple of home runs for Raul. He's pitched well against the Mariners today. I can't even call him a mistake. Probably the first home run, but the second home run, Raul just hit that pitch off the ground. Probably right where Parker wanted to throw it, but Raul hit it in the seats. Well, again, I love it. Passing along baseball knowledge, the veteran and the rookie. Danny Farquhar got a chance to eavesdrop. There's 3 2. So 
folks on deck. Up high to Jason Bang works a walk. Start up the Mariners. Seventh inning. Swing for the fences, just like Kedris Morales and Kyle Seeger with the new Home Run Derby Mobile game from MLB.com. Available on iPhone and iPad. Download free today. Here's Smoke. A couple strikeouts today. Popped up. Kevin in left fielder. Cespedes. One down. That walk to Bay, the first issue today by Park. He's had good command of his pitches. So working ahead, first pitch strikes, 24 batter space, 18 first pitch strikes for Parker. Bring up Zanino. Zanino with a base hit to left field his last time up, solid line drive into left. For Mike. Mike Z checking in. Being aggressive, first pitch fastball. Hits it right back up the middle. Playing him to pull that time, which is what he did his last time, but he hits that one back up the middle. Solid base hit. Bob Melvin coming out to talk to Parker. Back with more right after this. Parker will stay on. He's got first and third. One out and Michael Saunders the hitter. 0 for two day. I think Bob Melvin just wanted to see if Parker could talk him into staying out there. And I thought with as long as Melvin was out there that he was just trying to buy some time for Nishik who's getting loose in the pen. And he left Parker on the mound. A little dribbler there. Strike one. Tell me why you should stay. That's probably exactly the way it went. And then after he got the explanation, he said, okay, one more hitter. <laughs> Get it done right now. It's on you. I like that though. Yes. You know, he's Absolutely. pitched well for you and he's he's pitched well in this game. Give him a chance. Right the winning streak. Yeah, let's come right back. A couple of change ups. Good change up. That's his best pitch, is his change up. Throwing two change ups now to Saunders. Mike, let's find a way to put the ball on play. Mike was tough to double up with his speed. Bays at third, Zanino at first with one out. Saunders behind 0 2. Take right, right to the bag. bag. Double play. Yeah. Took him right to it. Taylor, Taylor made. My goodness. 3 2 Mariners. We go to the eighth.
our AT&T trivia question. Who held the season home run record for the most years? Ruth, Connor, Maris, or Williamson? Mike and I went with Maris. Fans went with Maris. Survey says G.H. Ruth, 42 years because we failed to take into account prior to hitting 60 in 1927. Hit three times, set a record, 27, 54, and 59. So when you add all those records, and he held the record from 1919 to 1960. Curtis Wilson strikes again. I would agree. I don't like it. We went against our own dick. When did that go with Babe Ruth on that trivia question? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Gene Orson, from the former Chief General Counsel of the uh, Baseball Players Association taught me that, and I didn't listen to the lesson on this one. <laughs> Jed Lowry is the hitter. One on one to count. Danny Farquhar pitching the eighth. I would imagine with Medina going two and two thirds yesterday, throwing 37 pitches, probably not available. You can see Perez ready to go, the left hander. Tom Wilhelmson's been up for about an inning. Five ball left field backing up Bay. No problem. That brings up you on assessments. One run game here at Safe Go Field. Raul Abana is putting on a show. Two run homer in the first, solo blast in the fourth. Counting for the Mariner runs. Raul's home run total now 17. Now has 42 runs batted in. Here's Cespedes. Three with the run scored. Try to tie it up. On the strikeout, two outs here in the eighth. This was the four seamer at 96, just throws it by him. Second strikeout for Farquhar, so it's coming on in relief of Jeremy Bunderman. Brendan Moss. One for two, single to center. Blue, sixth inning when the A's scored twice on three hits. Also walked. Two up. Left hander Sean Doolittle. Hard throwing left hander getting loose in the A's pen. Donaldson, the RBI leader, who's 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. New ball game. It's danger when you fall behind in the count. Danny's basically stayed with either the cut fastball or the four seamer. This looks like the cutter. It's 92 miles an hour in the middle of the plate. 
14th home run of the year for Moss. Three-one pitch. Moss loses it up in the seats. To Donaldson. Donaldson was the last man that Bunderman faced. Jeremy walked him in the sixth. Towards the line, long run for everybody. Chavez, though, is there, and that will do it. So Moss with a home run, his 14th, ties it in. 3 3 as we go to the eighth. It'll be Ryan Chavez and Franklin 9 1 and 2 for the Mariners. It's been brought to you by Auburn Volkswagen, Das Auto, by BNSF Railway, the engine that connects us, and by Jack in the Box. Now's your chance to go big at Jack in the Box. Try Jack's big stack burger, two jumbo beef patties stacked with onion rings, cheese, and pickles. We look at one of the great destinations from Kerry Park, Space Needle, with a great restaurant up top. Big Sims like Flowers, Root Sports Crew. Here at Safeco Field, and Danny Farquhar just gave up a home run to Brandon Moss. Got a brand new ball game as we play the home eighth. Well, hopefully the Mariners can get to Sean Doolittle. He will take over for Jared Parker. Doolittle, hard throwing left hander. That ball will be in the mid 90s. He has 34 appearances on the year, 30 strikeouts in the 32 and two thirds that he has pitched. Opponents average 221. He's given up three home runs this year. And Ryan 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts today. Followed by Andy Chavez and Nick Franklin. Right Game's in the hands of the bullpen now as Parker and Bunderman the starters. Two. 
Breaking ball again. I mean, Ryan's key three times. Here's Angie Minton. Thanks, guys. Uh, the Rainiers hosting Fresno this afternoon, and Rasmo Ramirez got the start out on the mound, and he was good and eh, not so good. Uh, he goes five and two thirds innings. He gave up four runs, only three of them earned. But how about this? He recorded 10 strikeouts. The Rainiers, by the way, got on the board with a home run from Brad Miller, who now has a 19 game hitting streak going. Right now, uh, the Rainiers trailing Fresno. I'll try to update you guys when I can. 19 game hitting streak for your shortstop yeah. down to Triple A. He has been hot and, and looks like the promotion hasn't affected him at all. Started the year in Double A. Now hitting at Tacoma, 19 game hitting streak for Brad. Maybe one for three today. Got a base hit in the first. Gets past the first baseman Moss. That's a foot race between Indy and Sogard to the bag. Yep. And they got him. Good call. Good play. Nice try by Indy trying to get on base. Here's Nick Franklin. Inning in a 3 3 ball game, Oliver Perez will take over.
the stars aligned for the 2013 Major League Baseball All-Star Game as the best of the American League take on the National League's top players. Don't miss all the action Tuesday, July 16th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Pacific on Fox. Tie ball game here. Oliver Perez takes over on the mound for the Mariners, the third pitcher today. And he'll face the bottom third of the A's order here in the ninth. And for Perez, 29 appearances in the year. How about that ERA? 1.05 ERA. He has not faltered at all this year. Opponents average 215 against him. He's only given up two home runs on the year. 36 strikeouts and 25 and two thirds. First hitter's Josh Reddick. I think you like about Perez. He pitches with an attitude. I'm out here to rock and roll. I think that's maybe one of the biggest things that he's got going for him. I mean, he has a good fastball, there's no question, and a hard breaking ball, but I think his attitude helps him immensely. Gives him the confidence and all the different arm angles and I don't like it. Yeah, everything that he has going on. Can hold the fourth. The Mariners will have Seager, Bunyas, and Bay in the bottom of the ninth. Two and one. Ready today. Base hit to left. Fly to right. RBI. The ground out. Two run sixth. Two. Back to even. Grant Balfour, 18 for 18 and saves. He's warming up. Four open. Two two. Full count. Pittsburgh Pirates coming to town Tuesday and Wednesday. They just scored three runs in the top of the ninth to tie it up in Anaheim. They go to the tenth, tied at 6 6. Lead off man's aboard. That could spell trouble. And on how the Pirates did it, here's Angie Minting. Yeah, guys, thanks so much. As you mentioned, the Pirates open up a short two-game series with the Mariners on Tuesday. They were going for the sweep of the Angels down in Anaheim, and they trail by those three runs in the ninth inning, but they do rally with two outs. Sterling Marte single to score. Russell Martin, that ties the game at six innings. Uh, right now, they're in extras. And by the way, Pedro Alvarez homered in his fourth straight game. It was funny, guys, though. The Pirates tied this game the exact same time the Oakland A's did here in Seattle. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Alvarez having a day too. Two for five, 19 homers, 51 runs batted in, and the Buccos, 15 games above 500. It's the best run they've had in years. Haven't had a winning season since '92. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't seem like we were in Pittsburgh that long ago, and Alvarez was struggling. Hey man, he was hitting about. Let me look it up. He was hitting around a 150 or something like that. Let me get the exact number. 19 home runs and 50. What one? Was 50. that Pedro Alvarez with first day in a buck 78? How many home runs? He's got 22 home runs, uh, 22 RBIs this month. Huh. At that point, he had five home runs. Yeah, so he's going feeling nuts. pretty good about himself. Yeah. Down Jason's second plate appearance. Came on a pinch hit in the six for Derek Norris. Oh, a two to John. Jason starting the day at 279. Hit her two almost 19 runs better than. Zanino 
has the play. Nicely done by Mike Zanino. Good quicks. And he catches that right up against the railing in the backstop. Really good play. Oh, he picked it up off the bat immediately. Textbook play. Two hand catch. One out runner at first. And get a pinch hitter. For Sogard, who's who was one for three, gonna bring up Nate Fryman. Freight is a pinch hitter. 273 hitter on the year. Strike one. Something going on there. Missed. On one. Good fastball. And three fastballs, all of them on the inside corner. The last one, 94 miles an hour. Two throwing first. Climbing six eight, two hundred fifty pounds out of Washington, D.C. Pitch. Flicks it early deep to right field. Chavez gets under. Two outs. Tap the earn Coco Chris. Coco a switch hitter. Turn around hit right handed. today. Swing and miss and get out of the way at the same time. Yeah, good slider. Throws it right in his back foot. Popped up playable. Franklin with a good angle. Who's calling off smoke? Makes the play in fair territory. Here we go. Ninth inning. A run will win it. 3 3 ball game. You've got Seeger in a three hole, followed by Raul Abanez, who's driven in all three runs, and Jason Bay. Ninth inning. Come on back.
for him a 16th home run. And why not stay hot Raul Labanya's pitch it's almost going to hit the ground he just scoops that up and hits it into the seats out in right center field his 17th home run and that is the scoring for the Mariners this afternoon. A couple of home runs from Raul Abanez. Rally hats. They are now in effect. One run will win it. Mariners trying to win their first series since taking two out of three at Oakland. Last week and Adam Rosales takes over at second base for Eric Sogard. On Doolittle. Pitched a one, two, three, eighth of Tandu. Soldier on here in the ninth. Chris Young is the only position player left on the bench for Bob Melvin. Jason had to come on for Norris earlier in the game. Prime and pinch hit. And Rosales comes in to play defense. Kyle Seeger to lead it off. Bouncing ball. Easy play Moss. One out. Let's we'll see what Raul can do. Well, I think she gets a fastball to hit here. He was facing Blevins, the other left-handed reliever for the A's yesterday, and it was a breaking ball that he hit out of the ballpark. I think he'll get a couple of fastballs from Doolittle. Doolittle has a good fastball. It'll be 95, 96 miles an hour. Stan Musial is the only 41 year old to hit three homers in a game. He did it July 8, 62 against the Mets. Strike one to Raul. Two home run day. Two. Oh, and two. And he had him on three pitches. Yeah, three fastballs. Last one at 95 miles an hour, right at the top of the strike zone. So Doolittle is reaching back and firing. You take a look at Roll's swing. Jason Bay. Bay did not start. He came off for Gutierrez in the seventh inning. A tight hamstring had to leave the game, so Bay is going to get a chance. He's already had one plate appearance. He walked in it. Oh, one to Jason. Oh, one, two. Two to Bay. Here we go, Owen two again. One hop, right to Lowry. We got extra frames. Mariners are three and six in extra inning games. The A's are six and two. Tenth inning coming up.
season long. Jack Wink's Beef Jerky, feed your wild side. Ruth been covering us all afternoon, 3-3 ball game. Summarize how the A's got to this point, and we take you back to the sixth inning. Well, first, it's a wild pitch. Lowry scores. Bonham is still on the mound, and Danny Farfar comes on in relief. Ground ball to the second baseman. Good play by Nick Franklin, but another run will score. Gets the A's within one. 3 1 pitch in the eighth. Two out, nobody on. Right, right in that lefty sweet zone. Yep, down in the middle of the plate. Brandon Moss tied the game. That was his 14th home run, 38th RBI. Smith, Lowry, and Cespedes going against Oliver Perez. Day for Smith. Just fights it off. Bring up a hot hitter. Jed Lowry, switch hitter, turn around, hit right handed against Perez. Hit one to the fence in right field in the first, to the fence in center field in the fourth. Base hit and run scored in the sixth. Fly out to left in the eighth. Stay in the ballpark. One out. They bring up Cespedes. This will be a good matchup here. Cespedes, a good fastball hitter. And hitting against the left hander of Perez. Perez with a good fastball. His fastball will be 94 95 miles an hour. Strikeouts 0 for 4 day. Ball one. Dangerous hitter. 2 and 0. Himself, doesn't he? No. And again for Perez. Good pitch. He throws his pitch right on the outside corner. That's a bat speed there. And I didn't want to give him anything in the middle of the plate. Seeing our EQC trace of the location of that last pitch. Two and one. One out, one on. 
Identical pitch right in the same spot. Clearly has a very strong back. <laughs> Brandon Moss is on deck. He tied the game with a home run in the eighth. Good pitch, top of the strike zone. How do you lay off of that? I don't know. I guess you get to a point where you know you can't hit it, so you may as well take it. it worked out for him. Three and two. Breaking ball. Got him. That was a beauty. Two down. Three and two all fastballs up to this point and then he throws the breaking ball Cespedes gives up on it. It's a good pitch. Three one pitch. Hoss tied it up in the eighth with a home run. Off the Danny Farquhar strike one. Charge right now, 0 and 2. Got it. Fine inning by Oliver Perez after giving up a leadoff single to Seth Smith. Coming up for the Mariners, it'll be Justin Smoke, Mike Zanino, and Mike. Bears trying to take this series against the A's. Are you the ultimate Northwest Mariner fan in the state of Montana? The Root Sports is looking for you throughout this month of June. Get a photo on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag ultimate NW fan Montana, showing why it should be you. And you'll be entered to win a trip and a VIP experience of Mariners Fan Appreciation Night in September here at Safe Go Field. For official rules go to rootsports.com.
Chris yep. Ramirez get a jump on Grant Balfour. Yeah, Bob Melvin going to his closer here to come in. Balfour, take a look at his numbers. 31 appearances on the year. Fine ERA at a 1.17. 31 strikeouts, 12 walks. Opponents average 193. He's given up three home runs on the year. That's a good fastball. He'll be in 94 mile an hour range. Also a hard slider. Smoke, Zanino, and Saunders do up. Let's see what gives here in the 10th. Smoke struck out twice and fly to left. Smoke likes the fast calls you mentioned. Balfour's got a good one. Let's put the shift on with smoke hitting. Swing the infield around to the right side. Hits one to left field, one out towards left center. Last time up, he jumped on a first pitch fastball for a base hit. Tense keeps the dialogue going with himself out there. We get the rookie to chase one and two. One two pitch. Two strikes. All of Bunyas is counted for the Mariner runs. He is just constantly talking to himself, isn't he? Bunyas a two-run homer in the first, a solo shot in the fourth. They got him a chase. Jason the throw, throws wild. Janino's aboard. That's a break. Board on a wild pitch. It's a strikeout. Take him anywhere you can get him. Never got a good grip on no, that, Jason. Just rushed it, rushed the throw. Good hustle by Zanino. You get the first base. That'll bring up Michael Saunders. Michael looking for his first base hit of the game. He's 0 for 3. Saunders with four home runs. It's not gone deep since May 4th at Toronto. When he had a two home run game. Field deep and 
out. And it took Cespedes to the fence and left center back in the second inning. He's been driving the ball opposite field quite well in the last week. He wants a heck of a lot more than a seven to show for it, too. Yes, he does. And there's fastball out over the plate. Bell tie out over the plate. Just laid on it. Fastball now. Be a good fastball. He's 94 95. Take a chance if he throws you a breaking ball or a split or something like that. That's all right. You still have another strike to work with, but make sure you get the barrel out on the heater. Oakland outfield playing just in front of the warning track. All of them. And Nino with the winning run at first. 3 1 to Sunday. Will count. Got the fastball down and in. It was a strike. Three and two to Michael Runner goes. Swung on in the right field. Zanino will motor to third. Probably get a pinch hitter. Yeah, Morales switch hitter, and that'll be Kendris Morales coming out. He's going to pinch hit for Brendan Ryan. Good for Michael Saunders battling in that bat, picking up a base hit. Good base running by Zanino to get around to third. See him pull his hands in tight. Fastball middle in. Zanino on the move. Thankfully, the ball didn't hit him. Bob Melvin coming out for a word with his closer. Game winning run is at third base. Nice job, Michael Saunders. He brings out Fitness Morales. Yeah, they're going to go over some strategy here. Do they want to walk Morales? Load the bases up for Andy Chavez, or would he rather just go after Morales right here? We will see how well, they're going to play it. One out, runners at the corners. Morales less than two outs, a 382 hitter, runners in scoring position. 13 for 34. Time Morales had a walk off hit. It was the home run he hit against the Mariners down in Anaheim a few years ago when he broke his leg, stopping on home plate. Well, they're going to pitch to him. See if this is going to be a couple pitches wide of the plate and then put him on. I, I would think that they would walk him. And their best hitter with runners in scoring position. One out, running one run at third. One for four from Morales against Grant Balfour. It's 
fastball, grounded out. Zanino struck out. It was a wild pitch, and he was able to reach first. Three two pitch Saunders singles. Now first and third, and now Morales, chance to win it. High fly ball, that'll get it done. That ball is way. Wow. Out there. What a home run! Andres <laughs> Morales with the first pitch. A three run jack. And the Mariners win it six to three. Do not stomp on that plate. Nice and easy. His teammates are giving him plenty of room. Look at that. Just a little there diggity touch. Yeah, nicely and done. Oh boy. You can see Jason was calling for the fastball and he was pointing away, set up just off the plate away, and he threw that pitch middle in as he gulped it out of the ballpark. Reddick took about a nanosecond look and started working his way towards the dugout. How about Morales? A game winning home run. That's his 16th home run. Make that his ninth home run, beg your pardon. Gets him to 41 runs batted in. And what a big moment for not, the Mariners. Yeah, not just a home run, but a pinch hit home run on the first pitch. You can see Jaso having to reach back across the plate. That's a mistake by Balfour. Second career walk off homer, the first against the Mariners, now one for the Mariners. That's coming after a lot of discussion on the mound with Bob Melvin, the manager, on what they wanted to do. I thought they'd put Morales on. They decided not to. And he makes them pay for it with a three run home run. The boys are going to enjoy the off day tomorrow with that. Oh, you got that right. So three home runs for the Mariners. Two by Abanez and one here. Morales, a three run homer and the game winner. All right. Mariners win it. Take the series two to one against first place athletics that go eight and five on the season series. Here's Angie Mentick with Raul Abanez. <laughs> We're on here, Joe Kendrys. Don't jump on home plate, right? Don't jump on home plate when the celebration. Yeah, he, he came. He came in quiet. Uh, he came in quiet, and he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one easy." But uh, unbelievable. That was unbelievable. All right, Raul, you are unbelievable. At one point between yesterday and today, you homered in three out of four at bats. Is there something that you are feeling that you can pinpoint in your approach, in your swing, that's allowing you to do this? It's better to be lucky than good. That's what they say. So uh, I'm just trying to barrel it up and, and not try to do. Too Is there something that you know or, or or can do now at the age of 41 that you were not able to do or didn't know when you were younger? Um, I mean, there's stuff I definitely know. Uh, and, and there's, you know, I have a different swing now to have. Um, and, you know, I try not to think about it very much. Just try to do, you know, what you do well now and try to build on that. All right. Can you give me an idea right now of what is going on with this team? It seems like this team right now is so close to, to the tipping point. And, and it, it's been on the short side, but but now seems to be making strides. I know it's only a couple games, but you win it another series today. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge series. I mean, it gets a great team, it gets a great closer. Uh, you know, to be able to come back and and, uh, and finish it off that way is huge. And, uh, you know, it's something that, that we need to build on as a club, and I think we're very capable of doing that, and there's a lot of season left. All right, that one home run was off the shoe tops, by the way, that you hit. Are you going to play golf tomorrow? Um, I am going to play golf tomorrow for Cystic <laughs> Fibrosis. Uh, it's a great event and a great charity. All right. Well, I think that swing gets you pretty uh, well warmed up. And by the way, guys out in center field, Raul Labanez passes Brett Boone for sixth all time on the Mariners list of home runs. So now in front of him, Alvin Davis. All right, Ange, thank you very much. Yeah, we commented on that. It's a pretty good, pretty good poke you have with the baseball bat. You translate that to the golf club tomorrow.